Hi, my name is Caitlin Akon, and you're watching Hollywire. What's up, Hollywire? Gabby Conti here with Caitlin Nacon, who was just in the movie Linoleum, your first movie premiere at yeah. South, first South by. Yeah. Oh a my lot goodness. Of first. Love to play a little quick game with you. Um, how about the first time meeting a fan, or oh. first time getting recognized? I think we were in a store. We were in a like a mall or something. I do remember that. Aww. Yeah, that is so. Cr Did you like believe it at first? I probably was like, oh, hi, because <laughs> I I was very socially awkward as a teenager. I had a lot of social anxiety, so I was probably like, hi, I don't really know what to do here. Um, but I probably went home being like, wow, that's never happened before. That's crazy. Oh my god. So tell me about it. What was it like seeing yourself on the big screen at a film festival with mom, dad, your boyfriend? I I mean, it was surreal. I think I probably blacked out for half of it. Um, it was amazing. It was oh. so amazing and it was so great to see the audience's uh, reactions to everything and you know you expect them to react one way and they might react differently um, but it seemed everyone really loved it so that was very fulfilling. It had a good review in Variety so yeah. that's good. Oh, Doing well. God. We got a good review <laughs> for the first movie um, and in this film tell me about uh, Linoleum, tell me about your role and having uh, Jim Gaffigan as your dad. Oh I mean I, first of all, I loved the role. I got the audition and it was like, I was getting a slur of auditions around the time. It was the only one that I was like, if I booked this one, that would be amazing. Because <laughs> um, the character was just, I don't know, for some reason it hit home mm -hmm. in some ways. Um, and then working with Jim Gaffigan was just, I mean, a beautiful bonus. Mm. He's hilarious, he's very talented. Um, just a really great guy um, and a dad himself. So yeah. he really brought that energy to set. He has a lot of kids, nice. doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has a good handful. A couple <laughs> of them are actually in the movie too. Oh no yeah. way! Did they play your siblings or no? Yeah, yeah. They did. Mm -hmm. Oh so my goodness! It was, it was very. It was. They were so adorable oh. too. Oh my god! It was so great to meet them. Um, love them just as much. You said this movie hit close to home, but doesn't he play a? He's like a cable news personality who wants to be an astronaut. Is is your, your dad also want to be an astronaut? Well, actually. My mother is um, an aerospace engineer, oh my and in the movie, she's also assumed. an aerospace engineer. Oh, no way! Uh, my dad is also very intelligent, too. Yeah. He doesn't <laughs> work on uh, airplanes or rockets. Um, so it, I don't relate to that in that way. I think it's just um, uh, Nora's personality and her spirit. Mm -hmm. I, I really um, admire that. Right. Yeah. I wish I could be more like that, I guess. What is it about her spirit that you wish you could have more? I think she's of? just so unapologetically herself. Mm. Um, I mean, she grew up in a time where, you know, it's not necessarily acceptable to be who she is. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people are trying to put her in boxes. And she's like, sure, I'll be in that box. I'll do it, but I'll do it wholeheartedly and with all my soul, all my spirit. Um, and I think that's beautiful, even though she's still just trying to figure herself out at the end of the day. What is the box that you find yourself in? And what? where would you like people to see you as more of? Personally? Yes. Um, I guess the angsty teenager. I think okay. that's what I've played my entire life. Mm -hmm. um, so I, you know, any chance I can get outside of that box, um, I think Nora was a little help with that. She's still a bit angsty, but um, she has a lot of spirit and sarcasm, which I love. You're more than just teenage angst. Yeah, more, yeah. There's more to, there's more to <laughs> Caitlin than that. Um, and also, I'd love to hear more about like how you got into acting. Like, what was? Do you remember like your first role? Like, what was oh, yeah. the thing that got you so excited um, to be here? When I was very little, I, I was a, I sang all the time. I basically came out of the womb singing. Oh. Um, so I did musical theater a lot. And then I think through that, I got my first on-screen acting class. And I was like, this is amazing. <laughs> I was like, everyone's always telling me to be bigger on stage. Mm -hmm. And in this one, I don't have to be bigger. That's great. Um, and slowly, the more I did it, the more I fell in love with it. And then by the age of 15, I, I lived in Georgia. And I auditioned for this small local role on The Walking Dead. And eventually, I it worked out. It got series regular. was ah. on there five years. And, Thank God, it was such a blessing, and I learned so, so much from that experience. Um, it really opened me, opened me up to all the realms of acting, mm -hmm. um, and from that, I've just I've been able to get a lot of brilliant opportunities like linoleum. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it, it's it's been a fantastic journey. Caitlin, thank you so much, and congratulations on linoleum. Thank you, thank you.